What's going on guys, T. Blake here, and believe it or not, you're not looking at a disaster zone. I am in the process of getting ready to move, and one of the things that always comes with moving is downsizing. And it's a question I get asked all the time, whether it's on Twitter or in the comments, is I've been collecting for a long time. Man, that glare is bad. How do I part ways with sneakers? And if you're like me, you really do love sneakers. And sneakers in certain designs might remind you of a special time, an occasion, you get very nostalgic around them and it becomes hard to separate from them. And even harder still, when some of the models you feel like you can't get again or are quite expensive and you wanna enjoy them and wear them. So here's a little secret and it's the title of this video. Talk to your shoes, talk to them. Now I've been really interested in mental health recently and one of the things that I've been researching is letting go of stuff. And oftentimes you might get something from a passed away family member or relative or a gift and it's something that you don't necessarily want to keep around, but you feel obligated to for whatever the reason. So for me, with certain sneakers, I have it in my head that, that these sneakers and I have some sort of relationship. And it might sound weird, right, having a relationship to things, but I don't think it's that weird when you think about it. Everyone has a certain special something that they have an attachment to, right? So what this study says is that you should, when it comes to say goodbye to things, get rid of items, Thank the item. Remember something fondly with it. Literally talk to it. Say, Supreme Comme des Garçons boot. I remember picking you up for retail. I remember wearing you all around Boston. But it's time to let go. Now, I'm obviously exaggerating and it might seem a little silly, but this is something that I did to help deal with getting rid of stuff. Because some of these sneakers, I was like, man, I can't sell these. I can't get rid of them. They have this memory. I did this for them. I was able to do this. It's a symbolic of work that I did or time that I put in. And really just talking through stuff like that, let me reflect on the time that I had with the things and get rid of them. So I'm gonna show you what is left. Well, the first box I opens empty, so I don't know what that's doing there. We kept the Pinnacle Air Jordan 1s, Tom Sachs Mars Yard, the Jordan 1 Top 10, Jordan 1 Bread, this is the Atmos Air Max 1, Royal Air Max 1, Election Day Air Max 1. This is another sneaker where I have a memory attached to it, but I do love wearing these every election day. It's kind of a special thing to go out and vote, so I did end up keeping those. Supreme Jordan 5 in the camo colorway, then I kept the Cinder Jordan 19 Lowe's very obscure sneaker. Had to keep a classic pair of Air Max 97s, my Mosh custom pair of Sauconies that I designed. Pair of Vision Boat shoes, because you always want to have something for the summer. Miro Jordan 7, Air Max 97 Gold, Black White Flyknit Trainer. Kept a pair of Stone Island Chelsea boots. The Friends and Family Saucony. Obviously kept one pair of Tim's, Comme des Garçons pair being that. Kept the Jordan 4 Cause. Another pair of Tom Sachs. I'm not editing it. We have two of them, just because and then obviously another dead sock pair of my collaboration with Saucony. Then for practical sneakers, I love running in the Zoom Fly and I also enjoy running in the Ultra Boost depending on what the occasion is. So I kept two practical gym shoes that I intend to wear in and eventually replace over time. So that's been that. The best part about downsizing, especially when it comes to sneakers and clothing, if you're a collector, if you're someone that's in this similar space, is downsizing as the upside whether or not you wanna donate them, obviously you get some benefit from that. But a lot of these things you can resell for close to what you paid. So was able to take these things, downsize, and have a little bit of extra change lying around. So talk it out. Talk it out with your belongings. It might seem strange, and maybe it is, but you don't have to let anyone else know that you're doing it. You could say this video is stupid and then go home and do it. I won't judge you, no one has to know but I really think it's helpful to let go of stuff if you're having a hard time, is thank the item for the time that you've had together, thank it for the memories that you might have had, whatever it is that's keeping you from getting rid of it, separate yourself from it, thank the item, and move on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. T-Lake signing out, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace, guys.